Hello, it's Becky with Discover Math and Science with Jillian. I am Jillian's mom, and because this is a video for us moms, kids aren't going to care, I'm going to go ahead and do it for you. So I'm going to show you today what's inside Right Start Mathematics Level D Lesson Book and Worksheets. So we're going to start with the lesson book here. At the beginning of the book, you will see um, a list of the items that are needed to complete the Right Start Mathematics Level D lessons. Uh, some of them are rec required, which you can see there, and some of them are just recommended. Then you'll move on to the next page and it is going to show you the objectives for the level. It's separated out by um, topic. And then you'll see that it has four different quarters in here. Anything that is shaded means it is not covered during that quarter. So for example, you know, understanding fractions is a type of division. It's not covered until the very end of the book. Then this page is going to tell you a little bit about how Right Start Mathematics was developed as a curriculum. Some pretty cool thoughts on teaching mathematics. 13 characteristics that make this a research-based program that's effective. A table of contents, and you can see that it continues on to the next couple of pages here. And goes all the way to lesson 142 with a review and practice. Now each of the lessons are set up the same. There's no difference in structure, just what is, uh, what it's composed of. So what you'll see here is the lesson title. Then you'll see some objectives and that's what they want the children to be able to do by the end of the lesson. The materials that are required, there's a math journal here and it says it's found at the end of the worksheets. I'll show you that when I get to the worksheet book um, or a dry erase drawing board. Um, here there's a book about calendars or seasons to be read by the child and that's optional. You can check that out from the library if you want it or if you happen to have one. Then there's a warm-up. The warm-up activities are um, previewing the, uh, or I'm sorry, reviewing and practice of previously learned concepts. Then there's the activities themselves and this is what it wants you to do here. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Then we've got some enrichment activities down here. And that's that. I'm going to go ahead and go in, dive a little bit deeper into the book here and show you some other lessons. Again, same thing, objectives, materials, the tiles, the abacus, the worksheet, I'll show you the worksheet in a minute, warm up, which is the, kind of the review, and more uh, activities. So that's the inside of Right Start Mathematics Level D. It's um, a really hands-on program. I really like it. I love the work that they do with manipulatives. Uh, Okay, let's see here. Let's get to the end here. It's lesson 120. We'll keep going. At the end of the book, you can see that they've got uh, sets of numbers for finding sums, a multiplication table, a thousands cube, math puzzles, a box pattern, and the list of games that they use in level two because games are the foundation for this program. Just kind of showing you a couple other ones. Here, here you can see that they want you to do 
um, cards for playing the games. And down here, when it, when it has a game for you, it will tell you uh, which games to go ahead and play. Now, I showed you in a different video what the inside of the game book looks like. And you can check that out if you'd like. Let me just show you the Level D worksheets here. One of the things that I really like about this program is that it's pretty light on repetition. Some books have tons and tons of questions to answer for each thing and it gets tiresome for the kids I think so anyway yeah that's that's what it looks like at the end this is the math journal um, Denise Haskins of uh, let's play math has some ideas for some cool stuff on the math journaling that would be great for these sheets uh, I think I will do another video for you about that, covering some of the ideas that she has and send you to her page for more details. I hope this helps if you're considering Right Start Mathematics for your children. If it does, great. I have an affiliate link below that you can click on and go check it out. If it doesn't, you've got more questions or comments or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I will answer every one. Have a great day. Bye.